Hey y'all, so I am gonna do the Milliso tag today. Um, I have a calendar that I've made of videos I wanna do, and this is one of the ones I've been wanting to do. So I'm just gonna get started. Um, number one is what branch of service is your husband? He is in the Navy. How long have you been with him? We have been married six years this upcoming January. Did you meet him before or after he joined? Um, after he had already had three years in when we met and got married, and now he's been in nine years. Hardest part about being a military wife? Hardest part would be the separations and appointments, but it's also a blessing in disguise because I can fall in love with him over and over again. How many actual people can say that? When will you get to see your military man? Tonight, actually. Um, he's on shore duty, so he gets to come home every night, which is great. Um, I like when he gets to come home. Do you two have a good, stable relationship? Uh, yes, you know, communication is very important. Trust is very important. Um, we have a good marriage and we love each other. Has your husband ever been deployed? Yes, he has been deployed four times. Uh, three of which have been on aircraft carriers. One was boots on ground in Afghanistan. And um, we have done two of them together and then the other two he did before we met and got married. During deployments, do you struggle with being happy? Um, I don't think I struggle with being happy. I think, you know, some days are better than others. Um, some days are worse than others. You know, you have your days during deployment. And, but that's why it's also important to have a good uh, support system at your duty station and um, make a list of goals. Um, my husband and I sit down a week before whenever he deploys and we write down goals, whether it was um, to lose an X amount of pounds during that extent of deployment or to return back to school or, you know, things like that. Has your relationship ever ended due to distance? No, it has not. Uniform or civilian clothes? I mean, I like him in anything. I love him. Has he ever given you his dog tags to wear? Um, yes, he gave them to me when we started dating. And uh, now they hang in my mirror, in my car. Do you enjoy being married to a man in the military? I mean, I guess it's, I mean, it's like being married to any kind of man. You know, we just go through separations and play a game. Hold on. We just go through separations and trials and stuff like that, you know. The Navy's definitely given us a good life, and I uh, thank the United States Navy for that every day. Do you ever wish you had met someone? You hadn't met someone who wasn't military? Oh, you had met someone who wasn't military. Um, no, because I know that in the end, he's going to be a civilian just like the rest of us, and uh, he'll retire one day, and that's all right. Do you cherish more time with him since he leaves so much? Yes. Is your man trustworthy when it comes to being faithful? Yes, absolutely. Has he ever surprised you with homecomings? No, I've been there both times. Um, our first homecoming was an airport homecoming. Our second homecoming was pier homecoming. They're, they're both really romantic. Real men wear combat boots, I guess. I mean, real men also put on fire suits and police officer uniforms and any man that's willing to lay his life down for his country, whether it be a, fi a firefighter, a police officer, um, you know, a military man, any man that's willing to lay his life down for this country is, is great. Um, I mean, even lay down his life for his community. It, it's great and it takes an admirable person to be able to do, to do that. Are you in love with your military man? Yes. He's, uh, my husband, we've been very much in love for the last six years, and that ain't changing. If you could tell him one thing, what would it be? To go wash dishes. No, just kidding. Um, I don't know. I mean, he's not gone right now, so I don't really. I love him. That's what I tell him, because he'll be home soon. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later.